My name is Sal Sargatti, and we're back again with Song Major's Corner. This will be our first episode of 2022. The first episode that we'll be having this year, the topic will be counselors. That being said, I would like to introduce you to Brigade Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Blood. How you doing, Sergeant Major? Doing great, Sergeant Gaddy, and Happy New Year to you, too. Happy New Year, Sergeant Major. So, just to get right into the topic, we talk about counselors. Can you explain to me what's the purpose of counselors and why do we counsel? So, counseling is it's one of the most important things that we do in the Army. And really, the, the main purpose is to develop our subordinates. Uh, Sergeant Major, could you go over the types of counseling? Uh, yes, and so there's three major categories of counseling. The first is event-oriented counseling, and so that's used for a specific instance in which you want to highlight behavior that's good or to correct substandard performance. Um, I, I think a good example is if you have a soldier and they go to the soldier month board and they win, that's a great time to, to highlight that excellent behavior and, and put it on paper for them. The second category is uh, performance counseling. If you have a, a soldier go to the the promotion board and they're not recommended for the rank of sergeant that's time for you to as a squad leader platoon sergeant or as a sponsor that brought them into the promotion board to provide them critical feedback that they received from the first sergeant and sergeant major develop a plan of action on how they can get back to that board and then be recommended for sergeant and so the last category is professional growth um, this is a, a good example is you want to develop short long-term goals with your subordinate that individual has told you that they want to be the soldier of the year, um, whether it's at the battalion or brigade level, then you're going to develop steps on what they can do to achieve that goal. So, Sergeant Major, <clears throat> you hit a topic, you said substandard performance. Could you explain that to me? So, substandard performance, um, it's, it's counseling that, that you're going to use to correct the behavior. Um, and it, it's important that when you're executing that substandard performance counseling, it's an event-oriented counseling, I'd say that the first thing to do is to ask why. Why did that behavior occur? And commonly, if you can figure out why that behavior occurred, then you can correct it. And then you can develop a plan of action with that individual. So if there's a counseling, there's a bottom of the counseling that says agree or do not agree. What if a soldier checks the box that says does not agree? So checking agree and disagree. So whether you're the soldier being counseled or you're the leader counseling, it's important to understand um, that when you agree, you're agreeing to the key points of the discussion, as well as the plan of action. And so this is where I think it's really important to incorporate the individual that is being counseled into that plan of action. If they're a part of the solution and understand that plan of action is achievable, um, then they're less likely to select disagree. So I have a question, Sergeant Major. <coughs> If I'm giving a verbal counseling, would I still have to do the paperwork for that counseling? And, and so executing a, a verbal counseling is not necessary to put on paper. And what I tell you is, uh, you know, quite often we'll, we'll do quick verbal counselings on, on our subordinates to, to correct them. I'm really a minor um, infraction or a minor thing. Um, and again, it, if it leads to the point where you actually have to put it on paper, I'd go back to you know the why. Why is that individual having that behavior that you need to correct? So come to the conclusion of this episode, Sergeant Major, is there anything you would like to add extra to put out there to the formation or a soldier that might have a question? Uh, do you have anywhere they can go get those quick short answers from or any references? Yes, and so it's the Army has a, a wealth of knowledge that you can go to. There's field manuals, Army regulations, um, uh, Army publications to, to help you with the counseling process. Um, and because counseling is such a complicated and very, very important thing that we do in the Army, we will do a second part to this um, Command Sergeant Major's Corner. Um, well, that'll be it for today's episode. Uh, thank you again, Sergeant Major. I'm pretty sure the answers that you gave, soldiers, NCOs, officers, leaders out there in the Army will be gladly to use those answers. Well, thank you. There you have it. That's today's episode of Sergeant Major's Corner, where we talked about counselors. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, please, and comment below. And click the link below if you have any questions or concerns.